Hi guys, this is Jordan from Blogs DNA, and today we're going to be showing you how to monitor your network traffic on your Mac. Um, to do this, we're going to be using an app called Little Snitch. Uh, it's been around for a while, but it's definitely one of the easiest ways to monitor your network traffic. Um, so to get started, I'm going to open up the Little Snitch application that I've already installed in my machine. Uh, and I've been using this for a while. So basically, the app runs in the background, uh, and it's just a little menu item that you can see up here. Um, but what you do have is a preferences pane and from the preferences pane you can click to turn the network filter on so I'm going to start my network filter and from the monitor tab I'm also going to turn my network monitor on and I'm going to show you what these two things do right now so basically I have my network monitor up here and you can see I'm going to click to show network monitor and you can see every time I have a connection coming to my machine it's going to show me up here in the top right hand corner um, so you can see Google Chrome's connecting my machine. I have Dropbox running, so Dropbox is connecting. Um, also, if you have local network connections, they'll they'll show up in there. Um, and, and that's the network monitor that you can access and close at any time. But what Little Snitch really does um, is notify you when new connections come to your machine. To show you what I mean. I'm going to open up Sketch here, an application that I know will connect to the internet because it's a cloud-based service. And as soon as I open up Little Snitch, sorry, as soon as I open up Sketch, you'll see that Little Snitch popped up this message here, uh, showing me who's trying to connect to my machine. So you can see Sketch.com is trying to connect to my machine. And in this particular instance, I'm going to want to allow Sketch to always connect to my machine. So I'm going to select Forever and click Allow. And to show you what that's done, I'm going to open up the little Snitch app again. And what that's done is created a rule. So I'm going to scroll down here to little to Sketch Story. And as you can see, you can see the rule that it's created to always allow Sketch.com. And you can create new rules at any time. Um, but for the most part, it's easiest just to create the rules as the connections are coming in. Uh, so this comes in handy if you're worried about who's connecting to your machine at any given time. Like I said, you can see connections from a local network. So if someone's trying to connect to your local network, uh, you can easily just press deny and that'll, you know, terminate the connection. Little Snitch can get a little frustrating to use in the beginning because when you first install it, of course, um, you'll be getting lots of pop-up messages for all these applications that are trying to connect to the internet. But once you take a couple days to sort the rules out, um, and maybe you'll want to create a bunch of rules beforehand so you don't have to go through that. Um, it, it runs really smoothly and it lets you know. You, you can also select to always show the net network monitor if you want this, this to stay up in the right, top right hand corner. You can see Sketch is trying to connect to my machine again. I'll select Allow. Um, and yeah, that's Little Snitch. Uh, so I think uh, for a one machine license, Little Snitch starts at around $30 US. Um, but there's actually a trial mode uh, if you only need to run you know, um, the network monitor every once in a while when you're using a certain application or when you're doing a certain task. You can run it in trial mode for three hours at a time and you can actually, after the three hours is up, it just stops the network monitor but you can restart it automatically whenever you want um, for free. Uh, so that's a little snitch. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, follow us on Twitter at BlogsDNA and become a fan on our Facebook page. Thanks.